The human beings are the only creatures who hoard their dead. Why do we do this? Change, and everything is changed, nothing can be held on to. To the degree that you go with a stream, you see, you are still. You're flowing with it. But to the degree you resist the stream, then you notice that the current is rushing past you and fighting with you. So swim with it. Go with it. And you're there. You're at rest. And this is, of course, particularly true when it comes to those moments when life really seems to be going to take us away. And the stream of change is going to swallow us completely. The moment of death. And we think, oh, oh, this is it. This is the end. And so at death we withdraw. Say, no, 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 not that, not, not, not yet, please. But, actually, the whole problem is uh, that there really is no other problem for human beings than to go over that waterfall when it comes. Just as you go over any other waterfall. Just as you go on from day to day. Just as you go to sleep at night be absolutely willing to die. The point is that you can only die well if you understand this system of waves. That uh, you are just as much the dark space beyond death as you are the light interval called life. These are just two sides of you. Because you is the total wave. But the main thing is the attitude. That death is as positive as birth. And should be a matter for rejoicing because death is the symbol of the liberation.